Welcome back everyone, welcome back to Let's Play Wasteland 2 Blind. We are in Hollywood, baby, yeah. And uh, we're already doing good stuff. We've gotten rid of some of, uh, some of the um, beasties over here in the, in the cemetery for some of the people, so they were happy about that. And now we're just exploring. My philosophy, a hundred dollar shine on a three dollar pair of shoes. Okay. Let's see, these are not named. Oh, there's something over here. What is that? Alina finds a lock and a trap. It's just a little medical stash. That's odd. Oh, it's very easy. Let's disable that. And then try to... Oh, critical success. Try to unlock it. Wow, you can, Dimitri. Amazing. What are you talking about? Dimitri can unlock everything. I told you about that. See, there you go. Master trauma hit. Wow. Wow. That recovers a lot of constitution. Are there any entrances over here? Don't think there are, right? No. Alright, so let's explore more. There's nothing over here. Quite an interesting place. Woman, man... Those men wanted to have sex with me! What? Woman, man... What's going on? Why are there just woman, women and men here? I mean, sort of in pairs. Are they... Pimps and prostitutes or something? Wait... Is there not... That almost looks like a guy, doesn't it? That's weird. Oh, what's this? Does it say on the map? No. It does not. Where does this lead? No. Okay. Weird. Okay, anyway. Let's go to this place, whatever it is. You can see a sign, Heidi's Hollywood Hideaway. Okay. Let's see what in, what is in Heidi's... This is place where sex is purchased? Welcome to Heidi's... Hi I, I, I see. <laughs> Welcome to Heidi's Hollywood Hideaway. Uh, where your pleasure is our pleasure. I'm Heidi Hollander, at your service. Okay. Ah, it's you again, Rangers. Please forgive my brusqueness at the cemetery. It's hard to be pleasant when one is grieving. What can I do for you all? Are you here for business or pleasure? Or both? Um... We're here for business. That's too bad. I would have much rather given you pleasure. What can I do for you? Do you need any help? You want to help me? Isn't that sweet? Sadly, though, the hideaway has all the talent we need at the moment, and the AH, uh, HSP seem to have everything in Hollywood well in hand. <laughs> Unless you were thinking of storming the Bastion of Faith and sending those gods militia madmen packing, I'm afraid I have nothing for you. Yeah, we do want that. What do you know about the gods militia? They are the bane of my existence. For years they were too busy fighting the gangs of Los Feliz and Glendale to bother with us. But now that those territories are pacified, they've declared us their new crusade. They raid us constantly, breaking through our walls, plundering our supply caravans, killing without mercy. I have lost friends, employees, and it is killing our business too. The tourists who are our lifeblood are afraid to visit. We are withering away. Uh, away. Everything I have worked to create here is threatened. <laughs> sound. Well, I won't let it happen. The militia want to erase us from the face of the earth. I'll erase them first. I don't know how yet, but I won't rest until the bastion of faith is a smoking wreck. Hmm. What do you know about Glendale? A wild, barbaric place across the river to the east. I don't know much about it. Never had the inclination to learn more. What do you know about Los Feliz? A tiny little place that only exists so that the aspirants who come to the uh, bastion from the gauntlet of Samson can have a place to sleep before starting up the hill. What about the gauntlet of Samson? A trial by combat, named after the goon of a messiah, Red Samson. Aspirants who want to join the militia must fight their way up through killing fields of mutants and monstrous beasts at the observatory. Excuse me, the bastion of faith. Tell me about Red Samson. Some street crazy with a sledgehammer who saw a videotape and thought he found God. Died in a gang fight about 50 years ago. The only thing more pathetic than the, the story of his life is the fools who believe he was the second coming. What do you know about the Bastion? 
The militia turned the old observatory into a fortress and let beasts and mutants run wild in the park below it, as protection against attack and as a challenge for the fanatic fools who want to join the ranks. The Gauntlet of Samson, they call it. What do you know about the HSP? The finest police force in the West, uh, West uh, with the possible exception of the Rangers, of course. You will not meet a more dedicated group of men and women. I swear, they are never out of uniform. Heidi's Hideaway? I recommend enjoying one of our icons, each harkening back to the golden age of star making. On the female side, we have our blonde bombshell, Marilyn, our brunette playmate, Raquel, our sweet soul sister, Pam, and our beach bunny, Bo. On the male side, we have our brooding rebel, Dean, our perfect gentleman, Carrie, our smooth operator, Billy D, and our suntanned surfer, Hasselhoff. <laughs> Hasselhoff. And if none of those strike your fancy, or if you prefer the darker side of things, Mistress Veronica awaits you in the dungeon below with a more dangerous selection of companions. Now, what shall it be? Jeez. What do you know about Mistress Veronica? My dearest darling, who came to me lost and alone, and who, under my tutelage, blossomed to become the most beloved of my icons, then later the dark and delicious mistress she is today. She is my second in command, an inspired um, performer who can gra be gracious or cruel, kind or cold, whichever her visitors desire. Where is Hasselhoff? You'll find what you're looking for in the back room. Enjoy. Where's Billy D? You'll find what- oh, okay, so... I'm afraid Carrie is currently indisposed. Perhaps you could try back tomorrow. You'll find what you... Uh, so, what's the... Point in these? Okay. Are you sure we can't help? Alright, alright. There are one or two things on my plate that require a steadier hand that the H HSP can provide. One will test your diplomacy, the other will test your martial, martial abilities. If you take care of the first for me, then we'll see about letting you take a uh, crack at the pistol-packing priests. Are you interested? Yes. Marvelous. Then there is the first one. My most trusted lieutenant, Mistress Veronica, Lady of Pain, um, Ecstasy, has been acting oddly lately. I have been seen similar behavior before, and while I could not believe it of her at first, I worry she may be, she may be in love. And a prostitute, a dominatrix no less, in love is of less value than one unattached. So my quest for you, find out if I'm right, speak to her, offer to help, and see if she admits her condition. What is your job? I am the owner and madam of the hideaway, Heidi Hollander. It is my pleasure to provide pleasure to all who come through these doors. Okay, we're here for pleasure. Perfect. Then let's see what pleases you. If you're looking for a true Hollywood experience, may I recommend enjoying one of our icons, each hearkening... Oh yeah, she says the same thing. Okay. Come back when you're looking for some entertainment, rangers. Now there's a woman it's a business doing pleasure with. Okay, so we need to talk to the dominatrix and the... Wait, we've come through here. This is another exit, I guess. And there another one. Ah, to the meeting hall? Veronica's dungeon. Okay, that's where we need to go. Hello again, rangers. Mary. Oh, I thought we met her before, but she's just... The girl that works here. All weapons fully loaded. Okay, so this is the office, I assume? Alina finds a lock and a trap. A door, you've seen many like it. Hopefully this doesn't explode. Why is that locked in traps? There's Mistress Veronica. That's a huge... Welcome to the dungeon at Heidi's Hollywood Hideaway, where the fine line between pleasure and pain has been raised. That's a lot of doors here. So let's talk to her. I am Mistress Veronica, and you have entered the land of night and dreams, where no fantasy is too strange and no request ridiculed. Are you here to indulge yourselves, or is this a business call? We're here for business. A shame. Dreams are much more interesting. What could I do for you? We were more interested in what we could do for you. Uh, well, if you're looking for employment, you should speak to Madame Heidi. I have nothing to do with that. What do you know about Heidi Hollander? Madam Heidi is a caring employer and a great leader for Hollywood and the HCC, and she has been very good to me. Smart as. Great. You sound unsure. I... P 
please don't ask me about that. I'm deeply indebted to Heidi. I wouldn't want to speak against her. Kiss has excellent. We do have that. Don't be afraid. You can speak to us. Well, okay. That's a lot of XP. As long as it doesn't get back to Heidi. I I don't think she's a bad person. She's just so driven to promote Hollywood as a glamorous destination that she turns a blind eye to the bad things happening in the shadows. The drugs, the slavers. She and the HCC just pretend it's not, uh, not happening. What do you know about slavery in Hollywood? Heidi says there's no slavery in Hollywood, but I know better. I lost friends to those bastards, and there are more street kids appear disappearing every day. I just wish there was something I could do to save them. Maybe we could save them. Could you? Would you? Oh, Rangers, if you did this, I would be eternally grateful. Now, I don't know who's stealing those girls and boys, but I can tell you where to start looking. Schwag's Drugstore. Some of those talent agents that hang around there aren't really talent agents at all, I'm sure of it. Will you investigate them for me? Will you bring me some evidence I can take to Heidi that will prove this is happening? Yes. Oh, thank you. I have wished for so long that I could do something myself, but Heidi doesn't like her employees to make waves. Come back to me if you find any evidence of slavery. What do you know about the Schwag's drugstore? Heidi likes me to promote it since uh, Duke Schwag is a member of the HCC, but it brings back bad memories of when I first arrived here as a runaway. Too many creeps to the counter. What do you know about the drugs in Hollywood? You can find them every, uh, find everything here, but the worst is salt. That stuff will take your soul away. What do you know about salt? I don't know what it is or where it comes from, but I know they sell it at the Hotel California. I don't understand how that place still survives. The HSP raids it all the time, but somehow it always returns. It's probably run by them. What do you know about the HSP? I like to pretend they're real police, but they're really they're just Heidi's private security. What? Oh, I thought it was uh, God's militia, okay. What do you know about uh, Hotel California? It's a broken down hotel near the East Gate. The HSP should just tear it down. It's an evil place. What do you know about the HCC? That's Madame Heidi's organization, the Hollywood Chamber of Commerce. She's the founder and president. Um, it has been saving uh, of this has been the saving of this town. Without it, we would have all been overrun by the militia long ago, but... Well, never mind. Smart ass. But... But what? I shouldn't have spoken. Madame Heidi has done so much for Hollywood. We might question her decisions. Forget I said anything, please. Yes, ass. Yeah, this is what I like. You obviously can't forget. What's upsetting you? All right, you're right. It troubles me too much not to speak. Heidi and the HCC are so focused on saving Hollywood from the gods' militia that they can't see the problems inside our walls. But I see them. I was a runaway once. I saw the drugs, I saw the slavers. And as much as I admire Heidi for making Hollywood that it is, I can't sleep knowing what's happening for those kids on the streets. What do you know about gods' militia? Two days ago, they killed one of my girls. Heidi wouldn't let me go to the funeral for fear they would raid us again and kill me too. I... I despise them. They are exactly the sort of close-minded savages I was running away from when I came to Hollywood. But there is no escaping them. Every time you up... What? Every time you up? You see their damn bastion of faith looming over Hollywood. Oh, you look up, probably. What do you know about the bastion? It sickens me. The militia took a place dedicated to reason, research and discovery and turned it into a temple of hate and death. So sad. Well, you know, it's interesting. I mean, of course, I, d I don't mean to um, assume anything about her, but she's just a apparently a very intelligent and caring person. Why does God's militia hate this place so much? In their mind, we're all sinners, which, as far as I can tell, is someone who can scratch out a modicum of self-respect and pleasure in this shithole wasteland. Sure, we're not perfect. I mean, rumors about slavers don't come from nowhere. Not Heidi, what can do we do for you? Uh, you want to help me personally? I'm afraid I don't know you well enough to trust you with personal matters. Perhaps if we got to know each other better. Tell us about yourself. I am assistant to Madame Heidi of Heidi's Hideaway and mistress of her dungeon, where it is my pleasure to provide pleasure or pain, whichever you require. What do you know about Heidi's hideaway? 
at the hideaway there is only pleasure whether it's uh, a night with a beautiful boy or girl some role play in my dungeon of dreams or a soothing drink and a song in the cabaret it is our pleasure to give you pleasure even if that pleasure is pain i'd like to indulge well let me tell you of the servants of the dream if you enjoy mastering women then the lovely Gwen will delight you as she submits to your every whim. If instead you want the woman to take charge, Mistress Leia will be happy to grind you beneath her patent leather heels. Ugh. If you enjoy mastering men, then you must meet the winsome, or winsome Eric, for he is very naughty boy indeed. And if, <laughs> and if instead you enjoy being master, then the master sergeant looks forward to making you crawl. And if your dreams fall beyond these four fantasies, I will do my best to make them a reality. Now, which one shall it be? Um. Oh, tell me about Master Sergeant. Okay. Fantastic. Then pass through the arch behind me. The Master Sergeant will be waiting for you at the second door on your right. Okay. Tell me about Eric. Perfect. Then pass through. Okay, blah, blah. It's the same stuff. Wait. What about her, then? Um. Okay, never mind. Until we meet again, sir, uh, Rangers. Remember when she first showed up? A little slip of a thing. No hint she was gonna turn out so... spiky. Uh, is there anything else over here? I'm kind of wondering about these doors, though. Hmm. They're interesting. And, um... Leveled up here. Let me save, just in case. Copy, Ranger. Echo. Congratulations. Okay, thank you for that. Let's see what Alina has brought to the table. Yeah, see, I love this. Having enough kiss-ass and smart-ass. This was perfect. And we required eight, which was pretty crazy because both of them at level eight. Oh, just a moment, please. Sorry about that. Had an important important phone call. But then again, you didn't really wait. So um, an apology is not really in order. But hey, anyway. Right, game saved. Let's see what's over here. This is both trapped and locked. What is behind here? I have a feeling, even though Heidi seems to be like a nice person, there's something behind here that shouldn't be there, maybe? I don't know. This Arctic Sniper is not a bad gun. Please don't critically fail, Dimitri. Dimitri will not fail! Oh, uh, see? You were talking to me, I wasn't paying full attention to the door and the lock. See this, one, two, three, then you s twist your finger like this and one, uh, right, I shouldn't probably be talking when I do this. But in any case, Dimitri can pick any lock, not a problem, just watch. What? Seriously? 65%, three times failed now, in a row. Uh, right, come on. And now it's... <laughs> You have got to be kidding me. And then it critically fails. So I've I've failed three times in a row with 65%. And then I got the 10% critical failure. Are you absolutely serious? Wow. Absolutely ludicrous. It's advisable to stop by HQ to turn in and receive new missions. Sell your junk, buy new guns, ammo and armor. And see what's cooking in the cafeteria. It's usually nothing good though. <laughs> oh my god, are you serious? 65, 65, 65. Fail, fail, fail. And then 10% chance. Prox. <laughs> That's Murphy for you. That's Murphy. Dimitri, you idiot. I mean, you're a great sniper, but god damn it. <sighs> Come on. 65%. 65%. It's a lovely number. Hey, what the fuck are you doing in here? Uh oh. Bodyguard. So, what is this place? What the hell is that? What the hell are those? A funny looking statue of a rabbit holding a beer bottle. Heidi had weird taste in art. Had! So, uh, this assumes she's dead? There's one on the other side. You know, I'm probably gonna reload anyway, but I'm just really wondering what's in here. Five armor. Whoa! Okay, he's already dead? Wow, that, uh, okay. 
A beautiful art deco office. Heidi must have ransacked every abandoned movie studio in Hollywood to find all this magnificent furniture. Naked statues lean out from the walls in all four of the corners. No, they don't. Um, and a high window looks out into the Hollywood Boulevard below. Ornate double doors dominate the left wall. Well, there's windows, but nothing really there. No, I didn't want to talk. No. Aw, no candy. Never in the story tape, crystal ball. So this will probably be trapped and all. Oh. You notice curving scratches in the floor as if the statue was often moved out of the way. Tracing up the base of the statue to its arm, you notice a faint seam with grind marks circling the shoulder. That arm is a lever. Interesting. So is this... Uh... Okay, it's not alarmed. It's not locked. So what is that? Oh, okay. It does open the doors. Whoa. Whoa. Like her office, Heidi's bedroom is an art deco wonderland with a canopied bed, scalloped uh, lighting fixtures, and a beautiful vanity. There is also a safe in the corner. Interesting. So where does that lead? Outside? Travel where? But, oh, it's a sewer entrance of some sort. Very interesting. I'm not really sure what we're doing here because we're obviously not going to go in here. 65. Okay, let's let's just check where that goes. New location. Travel to Hollywood sewers. Huh. It's helpful to carry spare weapons with you in case you get stolen by an enemy or jams up. If you can spare the space for it. Well, I certainly carry a lot of spare weapons with me. Anyway, thank you very much for watching. We're probably gonna reload from that point, because, yeah, I don't know. I didn't really want to kill her bodyguard and everything. There's just an interesting area though it's really big sewers yeah very interesting anyway thanks for watching again and i'll see you next time bye bye